Hi, my name is Teddy Johnson. I'm the Adoption Services Lead here at the Golden Valley Animal Humane Society, and I'm here with five tips on how to adopt a dog from our organization. So the first tip is to make sure that a dog is suitable for your lifestyle. A lot of commitment goes into owning a dog. You have to take it on walks, take it to the vet, get it shots, everything like that. It's also important to know if it fits your lifestyle as well as your household. So a lot of apartments do have breed restrictions, size restrictions, things like that. So it's always important to do your research before you come in to adopt uh, any animal, but especially a dog. So if a dog isn't the right choice for you, maybe it's time to consider adopting maybe a cat, or a guinea pig, or a critter. Every dog is different, so it's important to know which type of dog will fit your lifestyle best. Like I said, there are breed restrictions at certain apartments as well as weight restrictions. Different breeds have different energy levels and, and need different things from their owners. So if you're a really active person that likes to go out for long walks and runs and everything, maybe like a herding breed, a collie or, or a lab or something like that. But if you live a more uh, slow lifestyle and you don't like to go out so much, uh, maybe something that doesn't need as much attention like a bulldog or a breed that's just uh, not quite as active would be a better choice for you. If a dog is older, there's a better chance that it might be potty trained or just no general commands and things like that. So a little less work might go into the obedience and things like that with, a, with an older dog. Most of the time, older dogs aren't as peppy and don't have a lot of the get up and go that puppies have. So again, if you live a more slow lifestyle, older dog would be better for you. Whereas if you're adopting a puppy, there's a lot more training that goes into that. They're not gonna know things like sit or stay. They're not gonna be potty trained most likely. So a lot more commitment goes into owning a puppy when it comes to things like training your dog. A good place to start is our website. It's updated every 20 minutes. So if you're looking for a specific breed or a specific type of dog, all of the animals that are available at our locations are on our websites. So you can filter through those and it, it gives you different options like age, breed, uh, sex, everything like that. So you can make sure you come in for the one that's right for you. So the website's a great place to start when looking for a dog, but really your best option is to just come in and visit at, at one of our locations. Uh, once you come here, you'll be greeted at the door, and uh, if you're looking for dogs, we'll walk you on over to the dog adoption area. Uh, there you can take a look at all the dogs that we have, and if you see one that spikes your interest, you can um, ask a volunteer or a staff member to do a visitation with the dog. You have a couple options. You can go into a visitation room that we have. You can go into our outside play yard with the dog. You can take the dog on a walk or you can go into an outside run. It's just a good way for you to get to kind of know the, the personality of that dog, maybe spend a little bit of time bonding with that dog before you make any decisions. It's always good to just get to know the personality of each dog that you might be interested in. There are two options if you're interested in a dog. You can either adopt that dog today. Um, you know, you come in, fall in love with that dog. If you're all ready to go, your house is ready for a dog, you have all the supplies you need, then do it. But if uh, you think you might need a little bit of time to think about it, or maybe you need to set up your household uh, to be ready for a dog, we do offer 24-hour holds. Uh, they're $25, and that money goes towards the adoption fee if you choose to adopt, so it's always a good way to uh, kind of get your house ready and get your life prepared for a new pet. Another thing about owning a dog is there's a lot of equipment that goes into owning each dog. Uh, when adopting a dog from us, it's required that you leave with a leash and a collar, so if you have one at home, great. If not, we have a full retail area full of any supplies you might need, so leashes, collars, harnesses, crates, ID tags, anything that you might need, we have it here. All the people that do the adoptions are really well trained in what dogs need, so if you're thinking about crate training, we can go over that. If you're thinking maybe a harness would be a better fit for your dog than just a leash and collar, we can go over that. And we're basically just here to help you out, set you up for success when getting supplies for your new dog. One of the most important things about bringing a new dog home is that you have to have patience. A lot of the dogs from here don't have that inherent training that you might have or that you might wish they had, so it, you gotta take some time when dealing with things like potty training, house training, crate training. It might not all come together right away, and so for that it's just important to realize before adopting a dog that patience is very important when owning any pet, but especially a dog. Thanks for watching the video. If you are thinking about adopting a new dog and bringing that dog into your house, a great place to start is our website. If you want, you can come visit us here at the Animal Humane Society in Golden Valley or any of our other locations, and our adoption services team can set you up for a dog that'll fit best for your lifestyle.